right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today's question of the day is, how do I keep my long-term relationship hot and steamy? I have a multitude of tips for you today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The very first one, um, I will say that I've mentioned this before, but let me just make sure that I mention it here, which is to keep up with the new experiences that you will have with your partner especially long-term, especially marriages, it starts to get stale and people say that they are not having fun anymore. You know, you kind of hear people complaining that once they get into a long-term relationship or they lose interest for whatever reason. And a lot of that is because they are no longer building their lives together. They're expecting things to just go. They're expecting things just to be. And that is not the way that relationships work. That is not the way that you are going to continuously get what you want out of your relationship, which is to be fulfilled, to be happy, to be satisfied. None of those things are going to occur if you are not keeping up with new experiences, keeping up with new memories with your partner. So definitely create these moments, create these memories. Another thing that I have seen when I was just reading, you guys know that I read a lot. Um, so most people remember when you give them a new moment or a new memory, i.e. A, 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 a new experience versus if you just gave them a gift or some form of money or whatever it is, some type of gift. So if you give the gift of a new memory, that is much more appreciated from your partner and just in people in general but specific to this video give your partner give your spouse new experiences and you guys will be a lot happier that is definitely a way to keep your relationship hot and steamy the second thing is to make sure that you are t <laughs> you guys are seeing my bloopers the second thing is to make sure that you two are connecting via sex Yes, I don't talk about that a lot here, but sex is very important in a relationship, especially in a long-term relationship. You want to keep it hot and steamy via sex. Absolutely. Try some new things out. Maybe you don't want to try whatever it is that you, your partner been wanting you to try. Maybe you should try some of those things out, which actually brings me into the third point, which is maybe you could role play. Yeah, it doesn't have to go towards sex, but um, yeah, the role playing playing could be absolutely towards sex. It might be a fantasy that your partner was discussing with you before and now you want to fulfill that fantasy for your partner. So role play, incorporate the sex absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. You want your partner to still feel love. You want them to still feel like, okay, they are into me. Okay, I am still sexy. Okay, I still, I'm still fine to my partner. Whatever it is, go smack them on the butt. Y'all know I always talk about smacking on the butt. Smack them on the butt. Let them know that you are interested. <laughs> and that's for the women too. Go smack him on the butt too. I mean, I, I, I do that to my fiance. He just be cracking up. Or he say, leave my butt alone, which is just funny. But he that lets him know that he's into me. When he smack me on the butt, of course, I, I, I love it. But anywho, <laughs> I'm going to move on from that butt though. <laughs> the fourth thing is, Speak about this a lot of times too here, which is to spend quality time with your partner. Don't only just be in the house with your partner and think that that is quality time. Don't be out there, out there meaning in the house together and not paying your partner um, any attention. Now, let me just say this because I don't think I, I say this much on this channel when it comes to quality time. It does not mean that you have to spend quality time every single day. That would be ideal, but we know that life just gets in the way. The kids might get in the way, the homework, or just taking them to all of their practices and keeping up with all of their stuff. Or you guys might work different schedules, or you might be working on dreams, goals, and aspirations. So I get that. It's not going to be quality time every time you and your partner are together. But this is why we have to map out. And I know that that sounds corny, right? It sounds corny, but you want to make 
your relationship. Um, you want to make time for your relationship. So map it out. Put it on your schedule, especially if you are a scheduler. Put it on your schedule and make sure that your partner knows how important they are to you. And so that way, when you are spending quality time together, you two can actually focus on one another and not think about the projects that need to be done. Not thinking about how the kids need to be taken care of or the next thing that you knew that you guys need to take them to or the next recital or whatever it is when you are spending quality time with your partner you do want it to be about you and your partner and really not about the children really not about the next thing that's going on you guys want to connect and really make it about you too all right the fifth thing is to keep your partner informed about those new goals, dreams, and aspirations that I just spoke about. You want them to be a part of your growth so they can grow with you. Now, that doesn't mean that they're always going to agree with what your new goals, dreams, or aspirations is. That actually does not matter. If you want your relationship to remain hot and steamy, you want them to be a part of your full world and not um, compartmentalize things to like keep them out of the world. You don't want to do that. So inform them of your new goals, dreams, and aspirations. And also as a as a counterpart, not a counterpart, as a secondary portion of part five, in include your partner in on your challenges as well because sometimes you can get a another person to listen to you or um, have another set of eyes look at something and then they are seeing something or hearing something completely different from what you were thinking or where you might have taken that particular project or something like that. They could be your extra set of eyes and extra set of ears to just help move things along when, when it comes to projects or whatever the challenge is. Maybe it's something in your family and something that you haven't thought about doing or saying or, you know, um, or completing or, you know, you, getting getting basically getting off your chest is what I'm trying to say to one of your friends or family members. And it's becoming a challenge for you, you might even be losing sleep. So let them in on this stuff so they can actually help you through it because you don't always have to do things by yourself. Now, that particular line was for my men out there you don't always feel like you have to solve all of the problems by yourself when you are in a relationship I know that you guys are problem solvers but you don't always feel like you have to solve all of your problems by yourself let your partner in on those things and so it'll be that much easier for you and actually your stress levels will decline if you include your partner more all right I'm gonna move on the sixth thing is small surprises People think that when you're in relationships that it has to be the big grand gestures. It's not the big grand gestures at all that keep your partner around. It's actually the very small things. Like, you know some of the very small things that your partner likes to do. Like, she likes to sit around and drink tea. So maybe you made her some tea. Or you know that she is very sappy and she likes love letters. Maybe you not text her, not email her. Maybe you hand write something very simple, two sentences. Letting her know how special she is to you so you can keep the relationship hot and steamy. It really is the small surprises. Make make your partner lunch that, you know, make him a brown bag lunch of some of his favorite food. Like whatever it is, it's the small things. Like I remember when um he was my boyfriend at the time. So obviously I'm talking about my fiance. But anyway, he was my boyfriend at the time. And I remember he mentioned that he wanted a back scratcher. Wasn't even nothing big. One day I happened to be walking through the store and I seen a back scratcher and he loved it. I mean, he still used it to, to this day. <laughs> and it was really just something very small. It didn't even cost a whole lot of money. He was talking about he needed a back scratcher and I happened to see one and I picked it up. Literally, he still talks about this back scratcher and he still uses it. So I know that it was very, very simple, small gesture that I did, but he was very appreciative and he remembers it. So that's my point. It doesn't have to be the grand gestures. Okay, people. The seventh thing is to make sure that you are showing your partner or spouse uh, love through their love language. Now, if you don't know the love languages, I will give them to you here shortly, but definitely go ahead and look online. They always have quizzes for the love languages. Maybe you and your partner could take the quiz on love languages if you guys don't know what each other's is, and that way you can start showing love through their love language. So anyway, it's five of them, and, the, and they are... The first one is gifts. So all of us like gifts, but that might not be the priority. So basically, love languages are saying what what really shows your partner love, which really makes 
what you're really showing them is how you appreciate them and they like to be appreciated particular ways and so these five ways are what all of us like to be loved and shown love in a particular way and so that's what the five languages are all love languages are all about so it's gifts quality time words of affirmation physical touch and acts of service so it depends on where you come on the um spectrum at and where your partner comes on the spectrum at and um actually me and my fiance did this long ago both of us like quality time his second one was gifts and mine is actually physical touch but so i know his and i know how to actually show love to him and he knows how to show love to me so it's not something that i have to think about right it's not something that either one of us have to think about because we know right does that make sense hopefully it does all right the uh, number eight is dates. I always talk about dates. Keep the dating going on. I, that's all I'm going to say, but keep dates all the time. This also goes into the new experiences that I spoke about the very first one. So date, 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 date. Number nine, you want to set the mood. All right. Now this one is specifically for my men. Yes, I've said this in one of my other videos before, maybe two. Anyway, the point is women do not think about sex just when it's time to have sex you have to prime our mind make us think about it all day long because we have so many things that we are trying to get together now i get it both sexes have things that we think about right but specifically for women sex is kind of on the down low <laughs> meaning it's on the lowest totem pole on our list most of the time because we got to think about the kids we got to think about cooking we got to think about laundry we got to think about 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 and at the end of the day guess what we pooped yeah that means tired we are absolutely tired that doesn't mean that we don't want to have sex so don't think that that means that we don't want to have sex prime me all day make me think about what you're gonna do send me some text messages send me some text messages send me some emails let me know what you want to do to me right we like that and i'll be thinking about what we gonna do later on and then when you get home all right listen up when you get home help her with some of the domestic duties you will be able to get sex faster because you'll be helping with putting, putting the kids to bed giving them you know giving them their baths helping them eat helping them with the uh what is it the homework depending on you know the age of your child help out with some of the domestic duties that way you can have that sex faster <laughs> speaking of sex and setting the mood this next one is to take hot showers together a lot of us have gotten away from that. Some people don't even like to be touched or you just like your own space. I'm not saying every time you take a shower, take a hot shower with your spouse, but to keep your relationship hot and steamy, th that flows perfectly. Go ahead and get it in there and take a hot shower with your boo. Y'all both wash each other's backs and you know, whatever. Let the mood lead you to where it's going to lead you. All right, we're going to keep it clean here, but do what you need to do. Number 10, <laughs> number 11 is actually uh, get dressed. Oh, I already said this one. Sorry. Um, I'm, 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 uh, uh, anyway, whatever. So the next one is actually to make each other a priority. I have said that a million times in so many of my videos, so I'm not going to spend too much time there, but make your spouse, make your partner a priority. And number 12 flows into all of these things, which is no excuses on why you cannot spend time with your spouse. No excuses why you can't help out around the house. There are no excuses why you cannot show the love the way that your partner wants to be loved. There are no excuses on why you can't let your partner in to help them with your new goals or, or your challenges. There are no excuses why you can't do small surprises. There are no excuses why you guys should not be connecting via sex all right so literally think about all of these 12 things there are no excuses you want to keep your relationship hot and steamy so the boredom doesn't creep into your relationship incorporate as many of these things as you can and as you start to incorporate these things your mind will start to be super creative and that way you will be able to come up with your own things i definitely hope that this has helped you guys out today of course give me thumbs up 
Definitely share it with all other people that you know who need to see this. Do not forget about the playlist, especially if this is your very first time here. Speaking of, if it is your very first time here, you make sure that you give me um, a click on the red subscribe button because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am helping you to supply you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. All right, I will see you again tomorrow. My goodness, these days are just moving on. I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.